What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So we've done a ton of versus videos and many of those have included the very popular Varro banking platform as well as Discover Bank, which are two of my personal favorites. But through all of those different videos, we have never actually put those two options head to head with each other to see which one might be the better option for you. So today that is exactly what we're going to do. And considering it's been almost eight months since I did my original reviews on each of these platforms, it's probably about time that we do an update. So today, let's break down everything that Varro and Discover Bank both have to offer and put them head to head with each other to see which one might be the better banking option for you. All right, let's jump right into it. So like I said, I did review both of these platforms independently a while back on my channel. So definitely check that out if you want some more in-depth information. But those videos are pretty old at this point. And as we know, with these kind of bank reviews, the features and rates are constantly changing. So let's brush up on what each of these options is currently offering so that you have the most up-to-date information. First of all, we have Varo, which is a very popular mobile banking option who offers a standard bank account that is basically a checking account, as well as a separate savings account option that work together to offer you a pretty cool banking experience. So for starters, we have the bank account side of things, and this currently has no monthly fees, no transfer fees, no foreign transaction fees, or anything like that. And it's going to give you access to their network of 55,000 free to use all point ATMs, where you can withdraw money for completely free. This account also comes with your standard debit card that recently got a new updated look that I am a huge fan of if you do care about what your cards look like. And Varo is currently working on a new feature called Varo Perks that will basically allow you to earn cash back at certain retail locations where you might already be spending money. So that feature is not up and running yet, but on their website, it says that you will be able to earn up to 15% cash back, which is insane. But if they are able to pull that off, then that will be pretty cool. So we'll see how that Varo Perks feature works its way out. But for now, it's just a standard debit card that has contactless payment and allows you to shop in person or online as you would with any other debit or credit card. You're also going to be fully FDIC insured up to $250,000, so nothing to worry about there. And one point that doesn't really matter that much, but I do want to mention, is Varo does have what's called their National Bank Charter, which is something that a lot of these mobile banks are lacking. And while that doesn't really affect you at all as the consumer that much, this does mean that they are both the provider of the mobile platform and the software and all of that good stuff, and they actually are the bank itself which might sound really odd, but a lot of these companies simply provide the interface and the upfront software and the app and all of that good stuff and actually partner with another bank who takes care of all of that backdoor kind of thing. But in this case, Varo is the actual bank and the software provider, so that is something that you want to keep in mind. With the standard Varo bank account, you're also able to get paid up to two days early, which is something that Discover does not currently offer. And they have a feature called Varo to Varo that allows you to send or receive money to or from friends or family who also use the Varo platform. And they also have the Green Dot Reload system as another feature, which allows you to deposit cash at over 90,000 retail locations, which is always an added bonus. All right, so that's the bank account, which again is kind of the checking account option in my eyes, but they also have a savings account option that works in a very similar way, but offers a few additional features. First of all, they have what's called a save your pay feature, and this allows you to take a percentage of your direct deposited paycheck and have it automatically transferred into your savings account without you having to do anything on your own, just to make sure that you are setting some money aside and not spending everything. And they also have a save your change feature that rounds up every transaction on your Varo debit card to the nearest whole dollar. And again, will automatically transfer that amount of money into your savings account. So while the overall usefulness of these features is going to depend on your own financial habits, at least these features are there and they might allow you to save a little bit of extra money. And if you don't see a lot of value in them, then you don't have to use them. All right, now for the big feature that draws a lot of people to the Varo platform, and that would be their interest rate. Now, Varo's interest rate is fantastic. However, there are a lot of hoops to jump through in order to get the highest interest rate possible. So let's run through exactly how this works. First of all, you're going to earn 0.2% on all of the money to begin with, which is okay since interest rates are pretty low right now across the board, but it's not that great. Now, the highest interest rate that they advertise all the time, which you've probably seen, is they are currently offering 3%, which is insane. 
However, don't get too excited because you're not gonna be able to put a million dollars in this account and automatically earn 3% on that money. In order to earn 3%, you need to first make at least five qualifying Varo Visa debit card purchases each month and have received at least $1,000 or more in qualifying direct deposits. Now that probably doesn't sound too difficult. However, you're only going to earn that higher 3% on up to your first $5,000. So while that is definitely awesome, just keep in mind that you do have to meet those requirements that we just mentioned, and you're not going to earn that 3% on all of the money in this account. Unless, of course, you have less than $5,000 in there, in which case this is a fantastic option for sure. All right, so there's a few more things that I wanna mention about the Varo platform, but I'll touch on those at the end of the video when we're comparing these two platforms to each other. So let's move on to the Discover platform to see what they currently have to offer. So similar to Varo, Discover has a separate checking and savings account option, and these accounts currently have no monthly fees, no insufficient funds fees, no foreign transaction fees, overdraft fees, or anything like that. And their network of free ATMs is currently at 60,000, which is a little bit more than what Varo is offering. You're also going to be fully FDIC insured and Discover Bank is a real bank that is chartered in the state of Delaware, just like we talked about with Varo. So not that that's gonna affect you as the end user, but definitely something you will wanna keep in mind. They're also partnered with Zelle, which is a third party peer-to-peer -peer transfer app. And basically this allows you to send or receive money to pretty much much any US bank account, which is definitely a lot more convenient than only being able to send or receive money to people that use the same platform as you, as was the case with Varo. Now, one feature that really allows the Discover checking account to stand out from the crowd is the 1% cashback that they offer on up to $3,000 in purchases each month with your Discover debit card. So if you max that out each month, that's literally $30 for free every single month. And while you could definitely get some higher cashback offers from a few credit card options, this is pretty awesome that they're offering 1% cashback on a free debit card. As far as the savings accounts go, it's really nothing special, but works in the same way as any other savings account. And it's currently going to pay you 0.4% interest on all of the money in your account, which has doubled the base rate that Varo is currently offering. So if you don't wanna jump through all of those hoops, or maybe you don't qualify for that higher interest rate from Varo, then the interest rate that Discover is currently paying on all of the money in this account is going to be double what Varo is offering, so just keep that in mind. So the basic checking and savings accounts are pretty simple, but I do want to mention that Discover does also offer money market accounts, which currently pay you a 0.3% interest rate on balances under $100,000 and 0.35% interest on balances above $100,000. And remember, a money market account is going to give you a decent interest rate that is a little bit less than a savings account, but it's going to give you the advantages of a checking account, meaning you have access to your money through ATMs, your debit card, and all of that good stuff. On top of that, they also have a few different CD options with varying lengths of time and interest rates. So if you know that you wanna lock in your money at a specific interest rate, then that is definitely an advantage that Discover currently has. But remember that interest rates are pretty low across the board right now. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you lock in your money to a five or 10 year CD, but hey, you do you. So that's a majority of the features that each of these accounts is currently offering. And the last point that I wanna talk about to put these two companies head to head is their customer service, which is a huge point in my opinion. Now, both of them offer email and phone support, but Varo's phone support currently has limited hours. And while there is definitely plenty of time to call them because those hours are pretty broad, it still pales in comparison to Discover's amazing 24 seven US-based customer support. Now I have raved about Discover's customer service time and time again in countless videos, so I won't bore you to death with that whole long spiel. But long story short, Discover is notorious for having the best customer support of pretty much any company. So if you're concerned about that or that is an important point to you, then that is definitely something that you will want to keep in mind because Discover's customer support is better in my opinion. So at the end of the day, either of these companies would be a fantastic banking option. And I think part of the reason why I haven't put them head to head until now is because they are very similar and great across the board. Personally, I think if I had to choose one, I would go with Discover, but I am a Discover It credit card customer and I have been for a long time. And I have found a lot of benefit in having both of those financial tools under the same app, but you have to look at your financial situation and decide which one might be the right choice for you. Other than the interest rate structures and a few minor differences in the features, the only large difference really between these two platforms is that Discover offers money market accounts and CDs and their 
customer support is much better in my opinion, but otherwise these accounts are very, very similar. So personally, I think I'll be sticking with Discover, but I would love to hear if you prefer Varo or Discover Bank down in the comment section below and why you feel that is the better banking option for you. As always, if you did get value out of this content and you want to help support me, it would mean a lot to me if you would hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with someone who you think would get value out of this content as well. And of course, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.